What is up, YouTube? You know what day it is. You know what day it is. It's Way in Wednesday, week 39. Welcome back to another episode of Parker Goes Carnivore. I'm your host, Ryan Parker. It's been a really great week. We've got a ton of fun things to talk about, as always. So let's just jump right on. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I've had a great week. I hope you're doing wonderful as well. The week has been going amazing. I went to three concerts this last past week, one on Friday at the Frost Amphitheater in Stanford, and I saw my man Billy Strings. Billy Strings is a guitar phenom. He's winning Grammys. He's winning Bluegrass Entertainer of the Year. He's just crushing the bluegrass scene and his whole band is phenomenal. He has like octopus arms, I swear. He can play more notes on a guitar than you could ever imagine in a single sitting. Check out Billy Strings, this is him crushing it. And uh, just a little clip of where we were at the amphitheater. Saturday was a super fun day. The Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival was in the city. That's a free festival. You could just walk on in. They have five different stages. Awesome, awesome bands from all over the world come out to play. And I was really most stoked to see Antibalas, which is a 12-piece Afro-funk band from Brooklyn. Oh, and they got down. We actually got to see them front row, right in front of the horn section. It was incredible. A dance party, no doubt. Here's a little clip from Nancy Ballas. And then on Tuesday night, it was a switch of gears for music for me. We went to bluegrass, we went to Afro-funk, and then we went straight to progressive metal. Mushuga, my favorite metal band of all time, was playing in San Francisco at the Warfield. And we got to do a little mosh pitting around and uh, see some crowd surfing and just really enjoyed that night. I wasn't drinking, so that was a really, really nice change of pace. I could just thoroughly enjoy the music and just totally get consumed by it. All right, let's talk about all the mental health. I have been meditating so much more and I feel so much better because of it. I have also been doing yoga now again and that's been a huge change of pace. I was really craving that and I'm so happy that I'm back on the mat. After this video, I'm gonna hop back on the mat and do another awesome session with Kira Michelle. And then also from a uh, mindset stance, I have been really just consuming nothing but positive things on Instagram. I've been deleting accounts that don't serve me. Things that might be funny, but are not positive. I don't need to see that. I'm letting those things slide, and I only want positive things coming in because that's what I want to give out. So that's what I've been doing for my mental health. Time for the diet. Time for the carnivore way of eating. My most favorite thing about this whole journey is I get to eat nothing but delicious meat, a little bit of cheese, and eggs and I just thrive on it. I'm just on fire, it's so cool. I really enjoy going out and having people go, what, you only eat meat? Like, yeah, it saved my life. I'm convinced of it, it really did. So uh, I can't thank meat enough and I hope all of you that are thinking about going on this diet, thinking about doing this lifestyle change, go for it, I'm telling you, go for it. There's nothing to lose and only everything to gain. You know, it's not for everybody, don't get me wrong, but I really feel it's for a majority of the people. I really feel that, you know, getting back to the way we evolved and what we've been doing for tens of thousands of years, yeah, I think that's the way we should be eating. Eating ruminant meat, large mammals that grass-fed, roaming throughout the lands, that's what we hunted growing and evolving. So why don't we get back to eating whole foods like that and see how it changes ourselves. And I'm telling you, it changes quite a bit. Here is everything that I ate for the entire week. Let's rewind the clock to last Wednesday, and here we go. Wednesday, I had this beautiful 18 ounce ribeye with four eggs. Thursday, I went out to a nice Mexican restaurant with some friends. I got a side of steak for like eight bucks and then chorizo and eggs. 
Chorizo is definitely cooked in oil, I guarantee it. I asked them to cook in butter, they didn't really understand what I was saying, so that's okay. I ate it. I did not eat the beans or the plantains or the tortillas that were in the photos, just the meat and chorizo and eggs. Friday was the Billy Strings concert. Went out to Korean barbecue, which is awesome. It's all you can eat meat that you cook yourself at the table. A lot of the meats were marinated, and so they had about six different options that weren't marinated, and I pretty much just ate all of those on repeat. It was so much fun. We got steak. We got marinated spicy pork belly, and then we got normal pork belly. We got brisket. We got beef belly. We got shrimp. We also got pork cheek. We got chicken. Super fun. Can't wait to go back to Korean barbecue and uh, just, it was a cool dining experience. I really enjoyed it. Saturday. Saturday was a fun day. Drove up to the city for that hardly strictly bluegrass festival. And I went to this burger joint. It was a smash burger kiosk. Uh, you know, they have food vendors there. And they had a single patty or dub double patty. And they had a plain cheeseburger, which was perfect. That's right up my alley. It's what I usually order. Just a plain cheeseburger, nothing on it. And I can remove the bread and eat it. So I asked them, I was like, can I get a triple? And they were like, ooh, that's the first time anybody's asked us that. And they made it work. They ended up just charging me for a water and they threw another patty on it and it was delicious. Check this thing out. Remove that top bun and just chow down. It was the perfect amount of food for the festival. And then later that evening, went out to a Mexican restaurant to close out the day. I ordered the shrimp cocktail thinking it was like old school shrimp cocktail around a glass but I didn't realize it was more like a ceviche. It ate all the shrimp, and then it ordered two a la carte tacos and just ate the meat, no tortilla. Sunday was a fun day for cooking. I had these butcher box burger patties, and they're pre-made, and so I really wanted a burger, like, I wanted to eat a burger like a burger. And so I was thinking about making some, basically a carnivore bun. And I know there's a way that you can do that with ground beef and pork rinds. And so I was kind of brainstorming that and then the idea of a chaffle just came up. And so I really like the idea of chaffle because I've made them before, they're easy. There's only two ingredients. There's egg and shredded cheese. You take one egg to a half cup of shredded cheese, you mix it all up and you throw it into a waffle maker and it comes out perfect, super tasty. I ate those as the, as the bread and it worked out well for the diet. So I made chaffle burgers and uh, could not be happier with the outcome. We'll definitely be doing that again. Monday, I had a huge steak and then I had so much leftover cheese and I had some beef sticks in the fridge. So I had the steak and then I was just munching down on cheese and beef sticks for the rest of the day. Tuesday was the other concert day. I had some sirloin steak and eggs for lunch. And then later that evening for dinner up in the city, we went to a steakhouse called Tad's Steakhouse. I got this half pound cheeseburger, put some bacon on it, removed the bun, and then also had some chicken wings. Really good chicken wings. Probably not the cleanest chicken wings you can uh, buy, but they were really, really delicious. Did not eat the french fries, gave those to my buddy, and I was good to go. That is everything that I ate for the entire week. Let's talk about the workouts. The workouts, I've definitely kicked it up a notch. It was a fantastic week of working out. Wednesday, I had Beast Fitness. That's my personal training that I go to. Well, it's like kind of like group training, two to four people. Had a fantastic workout Wednesday. Friday was a great day of dancing and, and walking around downtown Palo Alto and going to the concert. Saturday was walking around the city, 10,000 steps easily. Lots of fun dancing around to the Afro Funk Band. So yeah, definitely moving my body. Sunday, dirt biking day. I haven't been dirt biking in a while, so I got out there. I put in about 25 miles of pretty, pretty high intensity single track trails. And you know, just check out how beautiful it was out there. Dirt wasn't the best, it was a little dry out, but that was okay. I still got my workout on. I really enjoyed it. Monday, right back to the workout, Beast Fitness. We did so many squats that day. I did 60 squats at 205. Tuesday was yoga day. I did a 30 minute Kira Michelle yoga. That is everything from a workout perspective. You know what time it is. It's time to hop on the scale and see how I did for this week. We all know that I started off this journey last year in 2021 at 316.1 pounds at 42.5% body fat. That is wild. 
last week, 243.4 at 24.8% body fat. This week, 243.7 at 25.4%. I'm calling that a wash. I really didn't do anything on the scale this week, but I'm feeling really good. So I know things are changing and I am on the right path. As always, I love to leave you with a quote or a little motivation to keep, keep you going for the week. And this comes from one of my most favorite motivational speakers. He was the first person I actually found in the mindset world, Bob Proctor. If you don't know him, Bob Proctor is an OG. He recently passed away. I can't thank him enough for changing my life in the best way possible. And his legacy lives on proctorgallagherinstitute.com. Check him out. The quote is, become personally involved with your dream and make it a priority or it will never become a reality. So if you completely consume yourself, constantly think about it, write about it, just set a dream and a vision that you've already completed that and you're living that life, your subconscious mind won't know the difference and things will just come to you. You will attract everything that you want to make that reality come true. Get into it, get all the way into it. Let it consume your life for the better and just let it blossom. So if you've enjoyed this content, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave me a comment. I will reply, I promise you. And uh, yeah, above all else, if you want to subscribe, it's free. Just subscribe and that way you can watch my content every week. I got some pretty cool stuff lined up for the rest of this year. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing my life experiences with you and hopefully you can gain something from me. That's all I got for you today. I love you all so much and I'll check you out next week. Peace.